And I'm Greg. And we're Eat Tapes, and we have been on tour in Europe for four months, and we're back in San Francisco, and we wanted to show you some of our favorite places that we miss. First stop, Thrift Town. Um, uh, we're gonna go upstairs to the electronics department. This is a good place to find electronic toys that you can modify to make into instruments. We, we have something really similar to this that we modified and we opened it up and we added a um, pitch knob on it so that we could play it but then change the pitch and then also put an audio out so that we could use it when we're recording. Every time I walk by, there's like some sort of like really fabulous something, some special little ditty, <laughs> a rhinestone cat. Ooh, this is pretty good too. I'm kind of feeling also these like really sassy, sassy ones have little <laughs> statements to make. Okay, and there's one other place I think is really special here. They always have nice like housewares here that are really um, strange and unusual. The uh, ivory shrimp are nice. So Thrift Town was a bus today, but we're gonna go get on our bikes and go to our favorite grocery store, Rainbow. Yeah. So, what do you think about the fashion in Europe? Well, uh, it's different from place to place. Well, I think one of the big things that I noticed was in the UK, the prevalence of uh, studded belts. And I thought the UK was actually mm, sort of similar to Germany a little bit. Like, like uh, just really um, meticulous hairstyles. It seems like France, it's not quite as, it's a little more low key. Like more emphasis on trying to be subtle, yeah. This is Rainbow Grocery. It's our favorite grocery store in the world. This is the world class bulk food section. They probably have like 50 kinds of chocolate chips. Oh, you should come check out the um, salt section. The salt section, we have Australian pink flake salt, really expensive. $27 a pound. Oh. Okay. Can we do it right now? We just got kicked out. So we just got kicked out of Rainbow, it's kind of a bummer. I'm still hungry and I'm thinking maybe I'd like to go get a taco. That's a really crazy hippie cafe. We've never been there, but we heard it's good. It's all raw food. <laughs> it's, uh, you have to say an affirmation when you order something like, I am a beautiful person. I think it was actually our last night there. And these French friends of ours. Their names are Dat Politics. <laughs> convinced us to go to a Mexican restaurant that they were sure that we would like because they heard such good things about it from other Americans. I won't name any names. They didn't know that we weren't into kidney beans with ketchup on them rolled in some sort of flour pita bread. <laughs> Europe has a lot of things, but one of the things it doesn't have is Mexican food. This is one of our favorite Mexican food restaurants in the Mission, El Matate. Let's go get a taco. Looks like cabbage, broccoli, carrots, radishes, beans and rice, and guacamole. Hmm, that looks good. I think that they have the best veggie tacos here of anywhere. Yeah, I okay. agree. I was vegetarian for 10 years, and um, I don't know. I didn't really come to any conclusion about it. I think just probably going to Europe a few times, it was harder to be vegetarian. Um, I don't know. It's, probably something that I could talk like aimlessly about for a long time so I won't really try to get into it but it's too delicious for him to decide right now <laughs> <laughs> I 
was just thinking how in Berlin the club scene was so fantastic. I don't think there's any other club scene in the whole world like it. How do you know? Well, that I've been to. People seem really uninhibited there, and they just seem like really ready to get down and go crazy, like for days on end, which was really surprising and crazy, I thought. This one club that, uh, that um, opened on Friday night and, well, you know, you played. You guys don't know, though. <laughs> opened on Friday night and then didn't close until Tuesday night. You could stay as long as you wanted. It's pretty cool. So we thought we'd finish up the bike ride at the Uptown, which is right across the street from our house. So let's go inside and grab a beer. Uh, well, what was your favorite? I think to spend time in, probably Berlin. It's just, it's really relaxing and laid back, but it also has a big city feel and it's really cheap. Yeah, no, I thought Berlin was great. I thought Spain, we stayed on this island in Spain for a while because my passport got stolen. Um, and that was pretty, I mean, it was an island in Spain, like in the Med, you know, it can't get better than that. Thanks for coming on our bike ride with us. It's great to be home. Uh, maybe we'll see you on the other side soon. Uh, see you later.